Okay, here we go. We are recording. Okay. We are first going to talk about um, what a monomial is. A monomial is an expression that is a number variable or product of a number and one or more variables. Right here are examples of polynomials. We have 12. It's just a number. Okay. We have y. It's just a variable. These are all different terms, or these are all different examples of monomials. Negative 5x squared y, that's a monomial. C over 3, that's a monomial. Now, some things that are not monomials. Not monomials. Uh, if we had, if we had switched to that c over 3 and made it 3 over c, that's not a monomial because the c is in the denominator. Yes, the variable does have to be on top, okay, for it to be a monomial. Now, we can also talk about a degree of a monomial, okay? The degree of a monomial is the sum of the exponents of its variables. For a non-zero constant, the degree is zero. Zero has no degree. So, let's look at this and let me explain this a little bit. What is my variable in this monomial? X. X. What is the exponent on that X. One. one, when there's no exponent written, it's one. So it has an exponent of one. So what we do is we add up all the exponents on each of these monomials. So if we sum the exponents here, we have a sum of one because that's the only exponent there is. So the degree of that monomial is one. Looking at letter B, we're going to look at the variable's exponents. We have x squared, y cubed. So we're going to add two plus three and we get that the degree is 5, okay? The degree there is 5. That's our answer? Yeah, that's the degree of that monomial. Yes, Sean? So the 7 doesn't go into play? Correct, good question. Uh, the number does not go into play. You only look at the exponents on the variables, not the number. So we would not want to look at 7's exponent, okay? All right, letter C, negative 4. Are there any exponents there? I mean, any variables. I'm sorry. Any variables? No. no. Uh, since there's no variables, what's our zero. degree? One. One. Zero. One. Zero. Zero. One. zero. For any non-zero constant, the degree is zero. So this degree is zero. Okay? How about letter D? We have X, Y, Z. What are those exponents? One. 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 All of them have an exponent of one, so our degree <laughs> is three. So that's how we find the degree of a monomial. That's cool. We also look at these kind of as terms, okay, as a term. Now, we're going to look at what happens when we have more than one of these monomials put together. When we have more than one of these monomials put together, we call it a polynomial. Poly means many. Did you guys know that? No. Okay. Polynomial, poly means many. So this means we have more than one monomial together. We have the sum or difference of two or more monomials. This right here is an example of a polynomial, right here. 3x to the fourth plus 5x squared minus 7x plus 1. This is an example of a polynomial. It has four, it's made up of four monomials, okay? Now, when we write what's called, when we write a polynomial, we want to write it in a standard form. A standard form is where the degrees of its monomial terms decrease from left to right. So looking at this one, each monomial has a degree and they're listed in greatest to least. So this degree on the 3x fourth, the degree of that one is what? Four, because you add its exponents. The degree on this one is two, the degree on this one is one, this one is zero. So they're listed in order from greatest to least, from left to right. So in order for a polynomial to be in standard form, the monomial with the greatest degree comes first. Okay? Seven. I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. Okay. The degree of the polynomial in one variable is the same as the degree of a monomial with the greatest exponent. So when we're looking at polynomials, we don't want to look at each degree of each monomial. We want to look at the degree of the biggest monomial, and that will be the degree of the polynomial. So, for example, looking at this one up here, which monomial has the greatest degree? Four. Four. So the degree of this entire polynomial, then, is four. Wow. Okay? 
So on a polynomial, if we're looking at the degree of a polynomial, the difference is, the difference in a monomial is you add up all the exponents in that term. The degree of a polynomial is you take the monomial with the biggest degree, and that will be the degree of the entire polynomial. Okay? So the degree of this polynomial would be 4 because it's got the, the monomial with the biggest term is 4, or the biggest power, or degree is 4. Okay? So that's how we find the degree of a polynomial. Now, we can also name each polynomial. Each polynomial has a first name and a last name. It's not O-S-C-A-R. It's not its first name. Did you get that? Okay. All right, anyway, it's like the commercial Oscar Mayer, first, last name, okay. All right, but each polynomial has a first name and a second name. The first name has to do with the degree that each polynomial is. The second name has to do with the number of terms. So this would be like last name, first this name. is first name. So let's talk about the first name. The first name is based on the number of degrees it is. Okay? Looking at 7x plus 4, which monomial has the bigger degree? One. one. The 7x has a degree of 1. So that polynomial has a degree of 1. one. If we have a polynomial with degree 1, its first name is called linear. Okay, a degree one polynomial's first name is linear. Well, you're just going to have to memorize it, just like you would memorize your vocab. Okay, <laughs> on the second polynomial, we have 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. Which one has the biggest degree? This 3x squared, and it's a degree of 2. So this polynomial has a degree of 2. We call it quadratic. It, that's its first name. Wow. Quadratic. Right. Yes, you will have to know these. And why don't you add the 2's x? Well, because we don't, like, the degree of a polynomial is different from the degree of a monomial. Okay? The degree of a monomial, you just add up all the exponents. The degree of a polynomial is its biggest monomial. So. The next one is 4x cubed. What is its degree? 3. We call that cubic, C-U-B-I-C, okay? Those are the only three special names that you have to learn on first names, Yay. okay? If you look at the next one, what's the degree on the next one? Uh, it's yeah. a degree of four. Degree of four, so we just call that fourth degree. We don't have a special name for anything four and above. So anything four and above, if it's fourth degree, we call it fourth degree. Fifth degree, fifth degree, okay? Yes, Keanu? Yes, the one below it here, this is 5. This has 0. Its first name is constant. That actually sounds like a name, doesn't it? Constant. So if it's just a number, its name is constant. Miss Dixon, okay. did you do that? Oh, first it's 6, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, the last name has to do with the number of terms each polynomial has. Okay, if you look at this first one, how many terms does it have? No, not degree. I'm not looking for the degree now. It has two terms or two monomials. It's made up of two monomials. We call its last name binomial. Its last name is binomial because bi means two. These are easier to remember. Okay, so this has two terms, so we call it a binomial. The next one has three terms. One, two, three. What do you think we call that? Trinomial. Trinomial, yes. Trinomial. So it's like one plus one. Yeah. This has, yeah, it's just because this has three terms. One, two, three. That's why we call it a trinomial based on the number of terms. The next one has one term. We call it a monomial. Mono means one. Bi means two, tri means three. Those are easy to remember. The ones that are you're really going to have to remember are linear, quadratic, and cubic. It's only three things. You should be able to memorize that. No problem. Okay. Uh, the next one has two terms. Yep, we call it a binomial. This one, how many terms does it have? One. No, don't get degree and number of terms confused. This has a one... One term, so we call it a monomial. Now, 
just like the degrees, anything above three doesn't have a special name. If it had four terms, write this just below the chart. If we had four terms, we would just call it four terms. Five terms, we call it five terms. So there's no special name for anything above four. And there's no special name for anything above uh, for anything above three on the degrees as well. Four and above are just kind of above. Yeah, they just don't have a special name. So there's really only six words that you have to learn. You have to learn linear, quadratic, cubic, and monomial, binomial, trinomial. Oh, and constant. Constant. So that's seven things. Okay? You can remember all that. So that's how you name a polynomial. Now, on the back side, we're going to actually practice uh, with some of these polynomials. Example two, it says classifying polynomials. Write each polynomial in standard form. So first we have to get it in standard form. Then name each polynomial based on its degree and the number of terms. So first what we have to do is put these in order in standard form. We have 5 minus 2x. We want the, we want the monomial with the biggest degree to come first. Which monomial has the biggest degree? 2x. Now, there's a negative in front of that. You can't think of this as a minus sign. You need to think of it as a negative to your 2x. So when we move 2x to the front, that negative goes with it. Okay? That sign in front of it goes with it. So we have negative 2x. What sign is on the 5? A plus. You just don't see it. So it's negative 2x plus 5. So now this is written in standard form. Now, let's name it. Based, let's find its first name. Let's find its last name. The first name is based on the number of degrees. What's the number of degrees here? 1. 1. So what do we call, what is its first name then? Linear. So it's a linear. <coughs> its last name is based on the number of terms. It has two terms. Binomial. So it's linear binomial. That's its name. So we just write their names. Yeah, we're just writing its name. But you have to make sure it's in standard form first. So okay. Do you have to do this on like tests and stuff? Yeah, of course. All right, example three. I mean, I'm sorry, B. Example B. We have 3x to the 4th minus 4 plus 2x squared plus 5x to the 4th. Which term comes first? 4. 5x. 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 Well, we have 5x to the 4th and we have 3x to the 4th. Matt, very good. We combine them. How do we combine them? What do they combine to be? 3x to the 4th. Shh, guys. Okay, I heard Matt. I'm sorry. I know several of you said that. Matt is who I heard. Okay, we have 3x to the 4th. 5x to the 4th, when we combine those, what do we have? 8x to the 4th. So we have 8x to the 4th, that comes first. What comes second? 2x squared, and then negative 4. So these are now in order in number of degrees. We have a 4th degree monomial, a 2nd degree monomial, and a 0 degree monomial. They're in order. Now, what is the degree of the entire polynomial? Six, six, four, six. Some of you that are saying 6, it is not 6 because with na with naming the degrees of a polynomial, you have to look at its first term. So it's a fourth. No, fourth degree. It's a fourth degree. That's its first name because we don't have anything special for a fourth degree. So we just call it fourth degree. I thought we were supposed to add up all the terms. Okay, no. now listen, that's when you're just finding the degree of a monomial. There's a difference, guys. Degree of a monomial, you count its exponents. Degree of a polynomial takes on, it's the, it's the biggest, the monomial with the biggest degree is what the term of the polynomial, it was what the degree of the polynomial will be. Okay? So you don't add up all of them. You find the monomial with the biggest degree, circle it if you have to, and it's a fourth degree. So it's fourth degree is its first name. Its last name is based on the number of terms. There are one, two, three terms. So we call it a trinomial. <coughs> you only want to name it after you've got it in standard form. Because I know up here it had four terms, but it actually doesn't because we had to combine those so it actually only has three terms. Okay? The last one, letter C, we have 6x squared plus 7 minus 9x to the fourth. Which term comes first? Negative 9x to the fourth. Negative 9x to the fourth comes first. Negative 9x to the fourth plus 6x squared plus 7. These are now in order. Now, the degree of the polynomial, if you remember, is the degree of the greatest monomial. The monomial with the greatest degree. Which one is that? Negative 9x to the 4th has the biggest degree, so this is a 4th degree. 4th degree polynomial. And then it's got three terms, so it's a trinomial. Yeah. That's it. <coughs>
And that is what you do. Your homework. We don't have homework. For this one you do. Page 497. You're going to have homework on all of them. It's just that. Okay, it's 1 through 20. I'll answer those questions in a minute. Okay, page 497, 1 through 20 is the homework. It is due by the end of the hour. And then your homework tonight will be the video lesson notes for tomorrow. No, but this one has to be done in class, so it's not homework. I'm going to so stop.